friends. What's up, Virgo? Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. Well, it looks like there's some like, drama and um, anger. I'm not sure. That could be coming around work, though, for some, but uh, we'll see. Uh, remember that the energies can be reversed. Also remember it's a general reading. So just take what's yours, leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. And if you'd like to contact me for a personal reading, that's below as well. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Devil, the Ten of Swords, and the Four of Pentacles. That's interesting. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, but it's almost like there's a situation that ended. It may have been toxic, but somebody's still holding one there. Okay. Immediate future, please. What's coming up for Virgo? You got the world, the Eight of Swords, the Three of Swords. This is all about change, and it's like, it's a situation where there's boundaries that are set. So whether it's a person or however it's going to resonate, but when it comes to making that change and setting those boundaries and like allowing closure, somebody get, is going to get really nervous. And it's almost, it's, it's kind of a setback of an energy. It's like a three, two, one, but we'll just see. What is the world please for Virgo? You got the world, the seven of wands, the ten of wands. So over here, whether this is you or somebody around you, definitely could be your energy. Could be done with another earth sign. Slowly but surely, it's like setting these boundaries, putting your foot down, and really working hard to make a change. It's like taking things one day at a time. And while that's happening, um, somebody is getting really nervous. And with the eight of swords, we'll get to that. But over here... This is about setting boundaries, knowing your worth, creating change. Even if that's just change in general, it doesn't have to be with another person because a lot of effort is being put into something over here. And it's it has to do with like making change and sometimes with that, boundaries have to be set. So with change, earth energy especially, it can, you know, it's got somebody over here in their head. And coming in as the obstacle with the eight of swords that's like that's worry that's fear that's self-imprisonment of the mind we have the king of swords and the man and the magician this energy could be dealing with a um with an air sign but you got this energy over here worry so you can be kind of setting these boundaries and now this energy is stressing. What is, because it looks like they're trying to come towards you. Something may have actually gotten revealed, um, possibly about a betrayal. So guards went up, things kind of went at a standstill. What is this energy trying to manifest, but nervous to manifest? The Nine of Cups, they want to talk. But the Nine of Cups, uh, that's just coming off the King of Swords energy. The Nine of Cups is a card of contentment. What are they trying to manifest but nervous to manifest? I don't really think this is your energy that's over here nervous, wanting to make things happen. What are they trying to manifest? Yeah, all right. See what the full A you see, um, just even based off the color, the energy of the colors, like that's about self-expression, creativity, talking. But when the fool is here, that's about taking a risk. That's about taking a chance, a leap of faith. And again, it looks like this is somebody who's like trying to approach you. For some, it's after something got revealed, like a betrayal got revealed. So when it comes to taking this chance, making this move, this energy, whether it's an air sign or not, is in a very logical energy which brings all this worry and it makes it even harder to kind of step outside of one's comfort zone or even taking a leap of faith by that means because when you're taking a leap of faith and then the mind comes into play it kind of definitely counter work against each other 
All right, so show me the Three of Swords, please, for the outcome for Virgo. So this is an energy who is, it's almost like they've been very protective of heart, of self. So, um, you know, even with that energy, it can seem like emotional or it's like somebody who's kind of on and off, light switch with their emotions. But show me this Knight of Cups. This looks like somebody who is now trying to approach you trying to apologize you got the empress taurus Libra energy could also be an aquarius down there something i reveal back here in the background not right here within a third party situation or an external factor not for some but that's why all this worry and stress is here so you got the uh the knight of cups the empress this is an apology this is somebody approaching all lovey-dovey but you also have the devil capricorn energy so you could be dealing with a Capricorn. It could have to do with somebody's house um, as far as like your birth chart. But the main thing is over here, we started off with boundaries, with limits being set, working hard to make a change. Then all of a sudden, this energy is getting nervous, wanting to kind of take a chance, but kind of being nervous to make that happen. Then you have somebody like a, when you have the devil energy over there, we started with setting boundaries. Why is the devil here for Virgo? the queen of wands there could be an age difference but there is some like this is a little obsessive type energy and although no it's 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 fire energy you have the empress there so the empress is a combination of all the queens so we got the queen of wands clarifying the devil that can be a seductive kind of tempting type energy you got the page of swords and two of swords for some shoot you may have them blocked. This is somebody just stalking. And you may not even realize it. And this go, especially with this energy up here, this is a little bit more than stalking. This is like really trying to figure things out type of energy. Definitely some obsession. All right, Virgo, I hope this helped. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you'd like to contact me for a personal reading, that is below as well. You guys take care and I will see you next time.